Hello everyone, welcome to the video on glycosin metabolism. Glycosin is a polymer made up of glucose monomer. Glucose molecules will come together, combine with each other and forms a polysaccharide known as glycosin. Now, in glycosin metabolism, we have two things are there, glycosin formation and glycosin breakdown. Now, 60 to 70 percent of the food, what we take is made up of carbohydrates. So, all these car carbohydrates, polysaccharide, complex carbohydrates will get digested in the stomach and they release monosaccharide glucose. Glucose gets into the blood circulation. From the blood, it is transported to each and every cell of the tissue. Now, all the time in our blood, certain amount of glucose has to be there. The reason is there are certain tissues and cells which are solely depend upon glucose for their energy. Example, brain, nervous system, red blood cells, placenta, renal medulla. All these organs and cells are solely depend upon glucose for their energy. Especially brain is very sensitive to glucose levels. If that particular level is not maintained, immediately affected organ is brain. Now, what is that level? The level is 90 to 120 milligrams of glucose per deciliter. That means if you draw blood, 100 ml of blood should contain 90 to 120 milligrams of glucose. If the levels have fallen down, it results in hypoglycemia, which may result in hypoglycemic shock. Coma, in certain cases, death may also occur. Now, how is this balance maintained? So, whenever we take food, the glucose gets into the blood, it will be supplied to each and every cell and organ. The excess glucose gets into the liver and muscle and the excess glucose combined polymerase to form glycosin. The formation of glycosin from glucose is called as glycogenesis. Genesis means formation, glyco means glycosin. So, all the glucose will combine together and form a, a polysaccharide that is what is glycogenesis. Now, this glycosin synthesis takes place in cytosol. Especially the major tissues involved in glycosin synthesis is liver and muscle. In other tissues like cardiac tissues, also the synthesis takes place, but the major organs are these two, liver and muscle. Now, how this occurs? See, glucose gets into the cell. In the cell, glucose is converted to glucose 6-phosphate. The enzyme required is glucokinase or hexokinase. Now, glucose 6-phosphate is converted to glucose 1-phosphate. Interconversion of phosphate from 6th place to 1st place, that is glucose 6-phosphate to glucose 1-phosphate. For this conversion, mutase enzyme is required. Now, this glucose 1-phosphate combines with UTP and forms UDP glucose. Now, this UDP glucose, under the influence of glycosin synthase enzyme, glucose-glucose molecules will form a bond. The bond is known as alpha 14 glycosidic bond. Understand this one. Imagine this one is a glucose monomer and this one is a glucose monomer. Both of them will form a bond. That is, at first position of one glucose, at fourth position of another glucose will combine to form a glycosidic bond. And this is alpha position. Hence, it is called as alpha 14 glycosidic bond. And the enzyme responsible for this is glycosin synthase. So, linear chain of all these glucose will form with the help of glycosin synthase. Now, after that, there is an enzyme called as branching enzyme. Branching enzyme forms a bond between glucose 1 and 6. See, linear one, 1 and 4. 1 and 6 means this. The, if this is first place, this will be the sixth place. Another glucose will come with first place. So, 1 and 6 bond will be this one. So, this bond, this branching bond is formed with the help of branching enzyme. So, likewise, with the help of these two enzymes, a big molecule of glycosin will be formed with the linear chain of glucose and branches of glucose. And this is what is the formation of glycosin is. This is known as glycogenesis, formation of glycosin. Now, see, whenever there is an excess amount of glucose is there, liver and muscle converts the excess glucose to glycosin and store in the form of glycosin. Whenever there is a reduced levels of glucose or between meals or when you are in fasting phase or when there is a starvation, liver, muscle releases gl glucose from this glycosin. So, conversion of glycosin to glucose is known as glycogenolysis. Lysis means breakdown. Glycogenolysis means glycosin is being broken down and releases glucose. Now, again, the enzymes required for this is glycosin phosphorylase. The, the job of this enzyme is from the glycosin, glucose 1-phosphate is released. The enzyme is glycosin phosphorylase. Again, there is another enzyme called debranching enzyme. This debranching enzyme breaks 1,6 bond. Whereas glycosin phosphorylase breaks 1,4 bond. So likewise, the glucose will get released. Now this glucose 1-phosphate is converted to glucose 6-phosphate by with the help of enzyme mutase. And glucose 6-phosphate is converted to glucose with the help of an enzyme glucose 6-phosphatase. So again, it is getting back to glucose. 
So this is what happens in glyco glycosin metabolism, glucose formation and glucose. I'm sorry, glycosin formation and glycosin breakdown. Thank you for watching this video.